Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and if you've been following along, you know I'm building a Lyman Great Plains Hawkins style rifle kit. So, in this update, I'm going to be shaping the buttstock. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, bringing it down to the width of the butt plate and the toe plate. I'm going to cut in this cheek piece and this is uh, this is what it's going to look like at the end of the video so this is the finished product for this update but I'll be cutting in this cheek piece defining it uh, and getting it to the right shape instead of the big blob that uh, that Lyman puts here and I'm going to be continuing the line of the wrist into the comb of the um, the buttstock we'll be doing that on both sides so that when, when this is all put together, this line of the wrist looks like it continues down into the stock and gives it a, uh, you know, a less slab-sided look. So, this is the finished product, and I'll show you how I got to this point. All right, I know I said I was going to work on the buttstock today, which, which I am. But before I do, there's one more thing here on the, uh, the forestock that I want to work on, which is I want to work on this molding around the lock panel here. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this old device, which is a scraper. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a handle that uh, has got a pressure screw and it's got a bunch of blades. Uh, where are we get in the camera here? Made out of pieces of, uh, of hacksaw blade really just been sharpened a little bit on the edge and what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to work this concavity here in uh, in the panel molding and I'm going to scrape that which will smooth it out and allow me to maintain a good smooth edge, way better than I can do with uh, with sanding it. So I'm just going to get that that cleaned up. So our next little chore is uh, to bring the underside of the stock, the the belly, down to the level of the toe plate, which is already installed. I'm just going to use this form rasp. And now just uh, get out those tool marks from the rasp. I'm just going to take some 80 grit sandpaper on a sanding block. And I'm just going to go over that until I've got all the tool marks out of it. Alright, I've got the tool marks sanded out of that now and got the shape that that I want. Right, just a very slight bow right here. Uh, if you can, if I can get it on camera, just a very slight bow. It's called a fish belly. Instead of a perfectly straight line. So now I can start shaping the rest of uh, of the stock, of the butt stock. But first, uh, I want to get the the wood around the tang down to shape because I want to get the wrist profile figured out. So I just got uh, just have this a little bit snugged. Let's tighten that up a little bit, and I'm just using my 4-in-1 rasp again to just go over here and bring this down to depth. I'll start giving some definition to the sides here where you can see this is just machined flat, but I'm going to have to start getting a rounded profile into this as well. So. this back in here. There we go. So I'm just going to keep keep working this with my rasp. Until I've got that that wrist shaped the way I want it to.
you know, because this is a relatively easy kit, there is a uh, there's a certain temptation to just bull through it, uh, work fast, and you know, just get it done. Of course, we all want to shoot them. That's the main thing, so we'd like to be done. And and that's exactly the wrong thing to do. I mean, just concentrate on each task as you're doing it. Right now, I'm concentrating on getting the wrist defined, and uh, and I'm going to do that until I'm happy with it. And I'm not going to not going to work too fast. I want to make sure it doesn't become slab sided. So I want a good profile. So I'm basically looking at every every stroke I'm taking right now and making sure that it's giving me the definition that I want to get. I'm, I'm watching that line as it develops. Alright, now that i got the wrist defined, I'm starting to work. I'm getting the lower area uh, brought down to the dimensions of the, um, the butt plate and the toe plate. So, Another job for the big rasp. Okay, got the right side now, pretty close. Uh, I'll take it the rest of the way with sandpaper. So now we can move over and work on the other side. All right, so now we're going to work on the left side, which is a little bit complicated by this cheek piece. So we can't just run the rasp over it like uh, like we did before. Now, Lyman uh, gives you a pretty generous sized cheek piece. I mean, that's really comes way out over here, and we're going to clean that up a little bit. Then we've got to get the buttstock down to this level to the toe plate, and that line continues up here. It tapers it tapers in. So we're going to have to get all of this basically thinned out so we can work with scrapers and rasps in there. What I what I did is I took a French curve and I drew on the appropriate shape for the cheek piece, giving it the, the right curve. And then I used this carving knife and I've outlined it. So now I'm just going to take my chisel and I'm going to start taking that wood off up to the outline. I'll just move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got my chisel in here. I've outlined it and I'm just starting to uh to take that down and cut off everything that doesn't look like a cheek piece. Right, and eventually I'll get this down to the level of the stock and then I'll just start smoothing everything out. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. It's just taking that wood down a little bit at a time and making sure that I'm I'm nice and clear. Okay, I'm at the point now where I'm beyond what I can do outlining with a knife and have been actually for a while. So I'm using a chisel and I'm just continuing to cut that outline down and then I'll chisel chisel out all the areas. Getting a phone call. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So, as I said, I'm just going to keep working, going to keep working my way right around the outline, chiseling it deeper, and then I'll keep taking uh, taking these pieces off. Okay, so we've got the cheek piece roughed out pretty well now, and I'm trying to take just the edge of the stock down to where I need it. So I'm using a little bit of a bigger chisel. And uh, you know, anybody like me who's used to working with maple 
And then you switch over to this walnut. God, man, I'm hating this wood. It just wants to splinter and chip and gouge out. But, see, like right there, you gotta be careful here. And I don't want to take off too much. Anyway, I'm going to work this down. I'm almost all the way there. And then I'll be able to get in with the rasps and the scrapers and uh, finish it up. So, all right, well, I'm at the point now where I can run a rasp over it, just like I did on the other side. And uh, start taking it down. Get it down to basically final dimension before rough sanding it. say I think cheap pieces got a good shape and it came out nice and this is this is looking good I'm gonna get some scrapers in here and go over that a bit more and then move on to the last step so the next little chore I'm going to do here on the buttstock is to continue the line of the wrist into the comb of the stock so I've drawn drawn that continuation line and now I'm just kind of chiseling a little bit out now that I've got that line chiseled the next little chore is going to be to kind of cut a little shelf here I'll tell you, usually I don't worry about this too much on maple, but this walnut does not want to behave quite as well. All right, Axel, hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this line out. Then I'm going to taper the comb down into it and round this over, and you'll, well, you'll see the wrist flowing into the stock. Axel wants to go out, so I gotta finish this up later. Now that I've got that line chiseled, the next little chore is gonna be to kind of cut a little shelf here. And I'll tell you, usually I don't worry about this too much on maple, but this walnut does not want to behave quite as well. All right, Axel, hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this line out. Then I'm going to taper the comb down into it and round this over. And you'll, well, you'll see the wrist flowing into the stock. Axel wants to go out. So i got to finish this up later. All right, well, I'm just going to continue to work this down. Use an outlining knife. And my bigger chisel here. And I'm thinning out, obviously, the top of the comb. And what I'm making, obviously, also is a little shelf here. And I'm going to round that off uh, as time goes on. That's going to give me a little definition over here. So, I'm just going to keep taking this down very gently until I've got a nice little shelf built up there, and then I can kind of round that into the shape of the comb. Okay, I'm almost where I want to be now, I'm getting the effect that I wanted. I'm just going to cut a little bit deeper here with this outlining knife. Not much, just a little bit. And after I take that off, 
I think I'm going to be there. So. Almost there. That looks pretty good to me. Now what I've got to do is, is round all that over. So that'll be the next step. Okay, so I'm using a finer chisel now to just kind of round over the wood here. And I think you can see, right, that I'm putting that rest line down into into the buttstock, which just gives it, you know, a more more graceful, less slab-sided look. And I'm pretty much there. Oh, don't chip out on me. Do not chip out on me here. All right, so now I'm going to go over that with some scrapers, and then later it'll be sandpaper, and we'll be in business. Now I've got to do the same thing to the other side. Well, that's the end of what's probably the only real involved uh, major chisel work on this whole project. So now I've got the cheek piece cut in and the, the buttstock thinned out, and I've also got the line of my wrist uh, extended into the comb. So the buttstock is, is now roughed out. Uh, it still needs to be sanded and smoothed up, but good enough for now. Now I can turn to sanding down the whole stock.